Um, I just show this slide. This is just, uh, there's a, and there is now more than one, but this is an, artic, uh, an entire peer-reviewed journal devoted to studying the genetics of uh, eye disease. And the genetics are important because the, the way that all of these diseases have been talked about in the past, it's the, the classification has been really crude. Uh, you look in someone's eyes, and if their eye looks like uh, a yolk of a fried egg, then you call it best disease. If you see flame-shaped pigment abnormalities, you call it retinitis pigmentosa. If you see the drusen, you call it macular degeneration. And what they're realizing is that they're, the more they study this, they're finding genetic abnormalities in the majority of people with these retinal dystrophies. So I refer to retinal dystrophies as kind of the broad umbrella description of all of these diseases. Most people have that, have some kind of a genetic abnormality. The gene is uh, a gene that's, one of the genes that's been uh, identified as a gene that influences your ability to handle ATP and produce ATP. Um, and it's the same gene in all of these diseases. So in macular degeneration, you lose your central vision. In retinitis pigmentosa, you lose your peripheral vision. So it's like you're looking at the world through a uh, paper towel tube. You've lost all of your peripheral vision. You still have good central vision, so you can still drive, you can still read, recognize faces. And yet, even though those diseases look different when you look at the retina, they appear very different clinically, and yet it's the same genetic abnormality. And so you're gonna see, because of the genetic work, you're, you're gonna see what's already being worked on and talked about, which is a new classification system. You're gonna have macular dystrophy type one, macular dystrophy type two. So it's gonna be a more uh, rational approach to naming these diseases. Certainly, in the treatments we've done, we've found that all of these diseases respond identically to the therapies we use. So it doesn't make a difference if you have retinitis pigmentosa or macular degeneration or cone rod dystrophy or best disease or and on and on. All of these diseases respond very similarly. <clears throat>